here with Theron back again. Pastor Hole, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Patty Boy. I have a joke for you. I don't know if I want to hear this joke, but I'll, I'll listen. What did the five fingers say to the face? I don't want to know. <laughs> so today we're going to talk that about... That was not as good as act, uh, acting as, as the, the no, Oscars, though. No, no, not no, as, no, no. No. So... We, we will not win an Oscar for that. I thought you were going to do the Chappelle voice. You know, what did the five fingers say to the face? Slap! <laughs> <laughs> So this week we're going to talk about something. Uh, I've already talked about it on one uh, higher things with Pastor uh, Goodman. With, I talked about it with Pastor Goodman, but I want to kind of approach it uh, from a different light. So he wants it to be better this time because now he's I've, talking I've with me about it. Yeah, exactly. I've talked with me now. about it, exactly. so it's going to be better. Yeah, Pastor Goodman put me on the spot, and now I've rehearsed. You've rehearsed. You stood in front of the mirror, practiced. Exactly. Yep. You know, channeled all the good exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I method I acted it. my way into making this podcast better. <laughs> last couple days man it's like are you okay no. <laughs> no. so all right so we're going to talk if you haven't guessed yet about uh the will smith uh slap her round around the world from this past sunday uh you can't go on any social media without seeing it nope it's all over tiktok it's all over facebook Instagram, youtube insta and every everyone Twitter. it seems as though uh the war in ukraine has kind of like Gone to the back. It, it doesn't exist anymore. Exactly. Right? The it's only the thing that there. exists is war, Will Smith declaring war on Chris Rock. I it guess. is. It's the only thing. Um, that that and like uh, DeSantos in Florida. That's about it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the only. Those are the only two things happening. But right we can't. Now. Hollywood that cares about we, two things. We, we can't, can't approach that because that's political. Which, it's political. Exactly. Yeah, we can eventually in a different way, and we probably will after we rehearse that. But we'll mess it after. Slaps giving. I mean, and slapping even. It's really. It's shocking to me because, you know, you, you think of like, it, like I, because this is the question, uh, you know, if someone said a joke about your wife, mm -hmm. you know. How would you respond? Like, how would yeah. you respond? Well, I wouldn't slap somebody. You know, like, if I'm going to be honest, if I know someone is being sinister and vindictive mm -hmm. and trying to belittle my wife, I, I don't slap. That's not what I do. I deck them. Yeah. You know, that's, I'm not going to sit and go, oh, I pray for them. And I, I know I should. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. That's how I should do. That's what got me too was the slap with it, and Will's a big dude. I mean, he played Ali. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, he's not tiny. He he, he survived zombie apocalypse type stuff. You know. One hundred percent. I mean, he's, he's punched, the legend. He has punched his fair share of aliens. Yeah. I mean, he welcomed you know uh, he welcomed Earth. Earth. You know, yeah. knocked an alien out, slaps Chris, and he barely stumbles. You know. Yeah. So that's my thing. Is it really? It was kind of like a. Like a grazing, it was kind of like what did the two fingers say to the face, you know, not even five, almost. right? But he, he but didn't. Yeah. Maybe he didn't have time to actually like like get wound up. It was a tuxedo, the, you know, a little tight, right? A little could be yeah. form fitting, yeah. So I don't it's know. Probably a little, yeah, a little tight around the shoulder blade. Quarantine sure. weight still coming off a little bit. That's you know? true. That's true. A little tight. King Richard was a little, little pudgy. A little so pudgy so okay, your guy. so what I was thinking when I was thinking about this. Pastor Goodman and I talked about shame. So obviously, with everything that has gone on in Will Smith, Will Smith's life in the last two years, very heavily publicized. Yeah. Um, I mean, wife did a podcast about it, right? Um, and continues to do podcasts about that have dealt with that very same subject. I mean, the man was a meme. Yeah. Crying Will is a meme. With all that and the shame put to the side... I think if we go back to the beginning of the situation, Sunday at the Oscars, was that it started with a joke. Yeah. Um, very simple joke. Uh, Chris Watt Rock making fun of uh, Jada Pinkett Smith being bald. Yeah. Uh, he, whether he knew it or not, she has alopecia. She's lost her hair. Yeah. Um, so he makes a joke at her expense. Um, is it Chris Watt Rock's fault that he got slapped in the face? I mean, I think so, but and this is this is why men look better bald. You know, you see this guy right here, gorgeous, right now, and Thank you. you know, a few years ago, still beautiful, but not, not as not as pretty. Right. But look, I mean, bald men, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, bald, bald better. Jason Statham, bald. But Bruce Willis, mm -hmm. bald. With men, it's like when they go bald, it's just better. You know. Um, but women, it's not, and, and, and women, you, you can't bat, I mean, hair is, well, it says in scripture, it's the adornment of beauty. Mm -hmm. I mean, women have their hair done. They do their hair. My daughter, her hair is gorgeous, these curls. So I think that's the thing is, it's almost like, I, I don't know, 
if he and, and I've I've read one thing that he he didn't even write the joke like mm-hmm. it was the writers that did it and he was supposed to say it right. But what gets me with a lot of these guys is a lot of them will, will refuse to say something, and that's what gets me too. If he's really good friends Sorry, with her, I you know. Take... Oh goodness, your phone's your your Siri was talking, talking to us. Siri We're was good. talking. To... See, I knew it. That's gonna be the next podcast episode. Who's listening? Besides God, a lot of people. But that's the thing is. I don't know. To me, I, I think it comes down into a fifth commandment. We were talking about this a little bit. Mm-hmm. The fifth commandment is more than just taking a knife or a gun or poisoning somebody and killing them. Luther, right, the fifth commandment is you, uh, we should fear and love God so we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and support him in every physical mm-hmm. need. In the large catechism, Luther goes further and says, you should do nothing that would encourage the aggression of your neighbor. Anything that would lead to your neighbor being aggressive, you right. should not do. And you should create an environment that is not, um, that prevents people from getting aggressive mm-hmm. with each other. Now the problem is, who's claimed this vocabulary nowadays is the safety zone, like the safety pen. Yeah. Or, you know, this, this is, is a safe a, space. This is a safe space. It, it, that's a political movement, mm-hmm. is the safe space. You're not allowed to speak anything that could contradict someone else's worldview. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is you should not attack your, your neighbor's character, who they are as a person in Christ, who they are created to be. Right. Um, and does Chris Rock's com- uh, joke break the fifth commandment? I'd say yes. Which led to Will Smith then breaking the fifth commandment by going up and smacking his right. neighbor. I and, think I think what's interesting is, I mean, when you go back to the the hair topic and it's the point of pride and we don't know um how jada is feeling we don't know what she's gone through with her alopecia diagnosis or anything like that um and i we would also assume that the writers who wrote the joke definitely didn't you know what no. i mean yeah um so it, it's it what strikes me about it is it's low-hanging fruit yeah the joke itself was not <laughs> funny the reaction to the joke is what is what brought the the joke yeah the humor out in the joke and it, it's just really sad that that's where we stoop to i think mm-hmm. and that's what happens like pastor goodman and i talked about it, it wasn't funny no and, and the thing is too you you don't you don't make jokes about a, a woman's appearance mm-hmm. men you can make jokes about men's because i don't care if you want to comment on my gut yeah, I'm not going to lose sleep yep. over it. When my son say I have man boobs, I don't lose sleep over it. Yep. When people come and say two, two, um, two, two cups and grab my love handles, I don't lose sleep. Obviously, I'm saying oh, anything that I do, but that thing is bad. Well, no, I mean, it's but the I same don't. Thing. You know, it's yeah. like it, 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 the amount of time people have come up to me and and said, you know, you really look like Jack Black. I don't know if that's an insult or or a compliment. I think Jack Black's cute. You know, that's just my my personal, me personally. Uh, Get another call from women. Please stop calling men cute on this. Um, uh, But the thing is, yeah, I mean, it's like they they don't call come up to you and say, you know, you really, really do look like uh, look like uh, Jason Momoa. That's what I exactly. That's what I get. No, I don't. (laughs) I don't. But um, but no, yeah, it's like I remember uh, in in uh, Avengers Endgame when Thor uh, had the braided beard mm-hmm. I did that thinking oh man this is going to be awesome <laughs> no guess what I'm not Chris Hemsworth <laughs> even Fat Thor I'm not Fat Thor he's still jacked as he's Fat still Thor he's still jacked as still Fat jacked Thor still jacked and can do whatever he wants that's not that's the thing men you can make fun of all day but what, what gets men is, is is when you go after like their mm-hmm. other aspects of their personality right and that's the same with women too, but especially with with physical appearance, you just it, it's a no. Well, especially when and when women are are critiqued and expected to be so often this ideal. Yeah. Um. I, I mean, I, I don't I don't blame Jada for feeling sensitive about this topic, regardless yeah. of, of of whatever else has been said or whatever else has been done. You can't you can't necessarily blame her, and unfortunately. Um, it's an, it, it, it led to what it did. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the thing is, so we as Christians, how we take this is we go back to that fifth commandment, say this is how we walk, mm-hmm. trying to prevent that physical aggression all the time, harming your neighbor right. in his body. Um, and you help him in every physical need. So that's what we walk in because that's what Christ does for us. Yep. Um, so we do that for others. I, I was... Um, I read on Facebook, I'm 
I have a, a brother pastor named Chris Stout. Mm -hmm. He's a pastor in a North Carolina, actually at a black churches, and a really great guy. And his wife, Kelly, commented, they were talking with their, their kids about this, and it's how, the, there were three issues. First one is, this isn't how you ever talk about women. You don't talk about yep. women this way. This is how men are to talk about women, mm -hmm. first. Second, there is a time and a place to defend your wife's honor, I mean, honor yep. if it be in a physical way. You know, there is a place and time for that. And the point was, this wasn't really the time and place for it, you know? Yeah. Um, but there is a time and place. And then third, though, is as a Christian man, because this is what I think this really hits us, how are you to be a Christian man? What does that look like? Mm -hmm. Is one who is above reproach. That when you do smack it, it's or hit, it's not because right. you, your, your feelings have been hurt. It's because you're silencing one that if this person doesn't shut up, they're going to cause so much destruction with their mouth. Mm -hmm. So that's the key thing here, too, is why doesn't Will smack other people that do this? I mean, there's men that say a million things worse than what Chris Rock did. Exactly. Men who do a million times worse than what Chris Rock yep. did uh, to women. Why isn't, why isn't Will Smith speaking up daily about women trafficking? Mm -hmm. Every time I go to the mall, we, we live in Texas, right? But the Woodlands Mall has had little girls kidnapped. Yep. And then never seen again. Yep. Taken across the border and you never know where they end up. So why? that's my yep. thing is that's what a Christian man is called to do. Is to speak up in all these things. Mm -hmm. So it's not hard to just walk up, smack someone and sit back down. Because the shock hit everybody. Exactly. Everyone was too shocked to do anything. Yep. Chris Rock was too shocked to do anything. Mm -hmm. That doesn't take much. Will Smith's not a Christian. And that's the key thing here to also understand too. Will Smith's not a Christian man. He's never claimed to, even if you look at his understanding of religion, he'll talk about God. Yeah, spiritual, not religious. Yeah. Bordering on Scientology. Yeah, that's where he is. Mm -hmm. That's where majority of Hollywood is. The yeah. Hollywood is either that or atheist or, or spiritual, like you yep. say. We don't look for how we are to act from them. Mm -hmm. They should be seeing, because what does Christ say to us? We are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to my brother Chris Stout and his beloved wife Kelly Stout, because I think that's what also helped them too is they in his ministry he deals with how you know black women hear this too so mm -hmm. he can speak from experience a lot more with that so which is really good there we go so we should talk about scientology scientology would be fun man we'll probably like uh, you, yeah, you never know they might show up outside our doorstep i would love that That would be fun dude lonnie would have a heyday with that that'd well, be good lonnie sees jehovah's witnesses he like gets or mormons he like jumps out of the car and gets no but uh no, man, we get some Scientology, Tom Cruise, John Travolta. I don't know. I think Travolta is the, the one I hate the most. I know Tom Cruise is the most popular, but, man, I can't stand Travolta. Yeah, no, 100% Travolta. I, Travolta to me is just, a, you know, a, just a, so much worse than Let's Cruise. do it after Easter. Be a fun time. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us on Theron Back Again. Uh, adios. Bye-bye, everybody. That was a, a different language. I know. <laughs> <laughs>